Hello again. In this video we're going to teach you all the ins and outs of the two cam webcams and the SPC 900 and the so called SPC 880. Um, just a little bit of history first and I'll just bore you to death a bit. Um, originally Philips brought out a webcam called the two cam and it used a CCD chip which meant that it was it was very sensitive to low light situations and um, people into astronomy soon realised that it was really good for, for astro imaging because of just the, these, these qualities that it had. Um, the two cam went on for a couple of years and then it got phased out and it was replaced by uh, an updated version really called the SPC 900 NC. Now the SPC 900 NC which for all intents and purposes looks almost exactly the same as this um, is actually the same hardware. It's, the circuit boards are laid out slightly differently um, and other than that the chips the same you know the imaging chip uh, the only difference really is that they added two buttons onto it the old two cam used to have just a little button on the top they added two buttons to it and they updated the firmware which uh, put simply the firmware is a piece of software inside the camera that tells the camera what it is and what it's capable of and what quality it's got now the the 900, uh, like I said, looked exactly the same as this, but basically it had two buttons, one on each side here. One basically launched the Philips software that's known as VLange, and that's awful. And the other one was for taking a snapshot. Now, moving along in time a little bit further, um, two specific markets, mainly one in Poland and, and one in, in Holland, they launched a web TV system and the company that, that was building these web TV systems wanted to integrate a webcam. So obviously in the in the searches and, and looking around for a supplier they came to Philips and said basically to Philips, well look we need this webcam but we can't have buttons on it because it's not a Windows machine, it's just a web TV. So it, it, the buttons are like basically useless, can you make a camera for us? And Philips turned up with what's commonly known as the SPC 880 which for all intents and purposes really doesn't exist um, they took the buttons off it but the firmware in it is a simpler firmware it's actually the 2CAM firmware so really the SPC 880 isn't an SPC 880 it's actually SPC 900 hardware in an SPC 900 slightly customised case but with 2CAM firmware so what we can do is we can take this this SPC 880 if you like and make it into a fully fledged SPC 900 um, but without the buttons and in fact they're so identical that if you take the claws off one of these and, and open it up the circuit boards are actually printed up with SPC 900 um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just flash one of these and make it into a fully fledged SPC 900 and the reason why we do that is because number one it gives us uh, a better video compression method and uh, and it's, it's actually a codec called YUY2 which wasn't there in the two cams but also it gives it full compatibility across all the Windows systems because the old two cam or the 750k which is what this thinks it is at the moment won't work in, in later versions of Windows so what we're going to do is we're going to reconfigure it and tell it that it's something completely different and a lot of people struggle with that so we're going to do it step by step and just show you how to, how to do the full procedure Okay, if you didn't uh, if you didn't fast forward past the boring history part, uh, you can remember that the the so-called 880 is actually uh, a, a 750 or a two cam. Now the two cam is quite an old camera, and no drivers exist for it uh, to work in anything later than Windows XP. So really, you do need to be running Windows XP to perform all this procedure. Although if you've got Windows 7, you can run in what they call a XP VM an XP virtual machine and it will work doing that and I can't go into the ins and outs of, of that side of it purely and simply because I don't use Windows 7 uh, I use XP now if you're using the abomination that is Windows Vista I understand you can also do it with that and you have to run in some sort of XP compatibility mode and again that's something that you, you'll need to find out for yourself because you know I just won't even touch Vista so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get some software and you'll need a couple of little pieces of software that I will make available for download on my website at astronomyshed.co.uk 
which will be a piece of firmware for the SPC 900 and also a driver for the 880 uh, stroke 750k uh, and like I said if you if you go to my website where this video will be embedded there'll be a download link underneath that we're also going to need this piece of software it's called WCR Mac and it's from this website Martin Burry's website and we need to download this and this is basically the the programming software to 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 reprogram the camera so just go to this website and right at the bottom is the download link so just download WCR Mac and the next one we're going to want at a later point is this one which is at the same website uh, just a different page um, and there's the URL for you and this one is a, a webcam controlling utility we're going to use that briefly later when we sort of go a little bit advanced but again just scroll down like so and the download link is at the bottom so firstly you need to install those two pieces of software right at this point do not uh, plug the SPC 880 into your machine just yet um, we're going to do that a little bit later on but once you've downloaded from the link that's on my website that I mentioned earlier and unzipped it you should have a folder with these two files in it next you need to install this one which is a 750k driver and it's actually the driver for the the 880 so I'd like you to install that and then we'll move on Okay, so at this point, I want you to have downloaded three three things. Um, you should have downloaded and installed WCR Mac. You should also have downloaded and installed WC Control. And you should also have downloaded the pack from my website, which contains these files. Next, I want you to navigate to Program Files, which is in C, My Computer, C, Program Files. Look for a folder called Twerg. Double click twerg and you'll see a folder for WCR Mac. So double click that and next there's a binaries folder. Double click binary. Next look for folder 8116. Double click that and take this file, the SPC 900 NC bin, and just drag it over into this 8116 file. And then you can close those again. And it's onto the next stage. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to plug in your um, SPC 880 to a vacant USB slot. Wait for it to be recognised. Like so. Now at this point, you may get a couple of requesters up that say a new hardware detected. And the first window says, would you like Windows to look on the internet for a driver? Uh, select not at this time and click OK. The next requester then is looking for places to, to find the, the driver from and it should work perfectly fine if you click on install the software automatically and click OK. Now it may do that twice because there's also an audio device involved which is the microphone in the camera. Now once you've got those drivers installed properly, if you double click my computer, you should see the camera listed in my computer and as you can see it's a Philips PCVC 750k camera which is like I said a bit earlier it's, it's a 2 cam and it's the 880 same same piece of hardware so what we do next is double click that icon and it will give you a preview screen like so next we need to launch the WCR Mac software which is here now first thing we need to do is to check okay I take full responsibility for using this program the reason why that is in there is because you can kill a camera by doing the flashing procedure but it's it's like fairly rare and at the end of the day you've not got a lot of choice it's just something that you need to do so click on okay next click on webcam and DS interface find your Philips PCVC 750k camera and click on connect and in the binaries you'll see that the SPC 900 NC bin is listed that we moved into the folder earlier so click on that and then click on load into cam 
and you get a verification window so just click on yes and at this point you will see some green usually coming across the preview screen don't worry about it it's just the changes as the as the software gets reprogrammed once it's finished you'll get a requester that says you know it's, it's finished so just click on ok and also the the preview screen will have gone blank don't worry about that it's because it's no longer a 750k anymore and windows doesn't know that it's the 900 yet so what we do next is unplug the camera like so and then just plug it back in again once we've plugged it back in again and if you watch in the my computer screen you'll see that it now returns and it's now a Philips SPC 900 NC camera so we know that the flash has been successful uh, once again double click so that we've got the preview screen up because next what we need to do is load in what we call a macro which is basically it's it's a rewrite of the of the software inside the camera that puts some better settings in it for astronomy use so what we do is we go back over to WCR Mac click on webcam again click on DS interface and this time choose SPC 900 and click on connect now then make sure that the OK requester is ticked again and move to macros now the macro that we're we're going to use on this one is set optimized color non raw mode and special factory settings so we click on that and then run checked again it asks us if we're sure we'll just click on yes and again you may see some green flickering across the screen once it's completed that you will get a message that says macro success so what we've done now is we've basically reset the factory settings inside that camera to just give us some better settings for astronomy it actually gives you just slightly better color recognition and, and such like but we also now need to activate that um, because they're in there but the, the camera basically doesn't know that they're in there yet and hasn't been reset to factory settings so at this point close WCR Mac and what I'd like you to do now is to open the other program that we downloaded which was WC control once we launch that it's only a very small window and then again we need to connect a camera so click on connect to cam again choose your Philips SPC camera and click on connect now I'm going to move this window over the preview window because you actually do see a difference as you, as you do this next procedure now if you flick through the tabs you'll find one that says factory setting and it's under the secondary tab so just click on factory setting and you can see now that the, the sort of intensity has gone up and the colours are slightly different that's how it should be um, and, and that's basically it now we've flashed our camera we've put the new firmware in there we've put new factory settings in it and at this point you can now close these programs down and your camera is now a full-fledged SPC 900 ready for astronomy with the the best astronomy settings put into the into the factory defaults and that's all there is to it and um, yeah it's been a little bit complicated but I'm sure you know I think that it'll have helped you and you'll you'll be able to work your way through it from what I've given you there and so once again thanks for watching